Is the transfer portal ruining college basketball? Cinderella runs have always been the pride of college hoops. Smaller schools do an excellent job scouting, recruiting, and developing, and it pays off come tournament time. But after a record high, 1,100 players or 20% of Division I college basketball entered the portal last offseason. The furthest we saw a mid-major school make it in this year's March Madness was just the second round. Half of the starters on Sweet 16 teams were transfers. Nine of the 10 guys starting for NC State and Alabama alone did not begin their careers at either school. And if this trend continues, it will effectively kill off mid-major programs. Just imagine if Steph Curry left for Duke after his second year at Davidson, or if Gordon Hayward transferred elsewhere after his first year at Butler. You could argue that's how a school like Northern Colorado felt losing Dalton Connect or George Mason losing Tyler Cohen. A school like Southern Illinois, who had both Marcus Damask and Lance Jones, could have been primed for a huge season this year, but instead missed the tournament while their former stars made deep runs elsewhere. With the projected 2,000 players entering the portal this offseason, this trend is only picking up more steam, and the days of the mid-majors may be numbered.